what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more high q we're in season two yes that rhymed hello <laughs> anyways i am so corny sometimes i really do laugh at myself of how corny i am <laughs> but anyways um season two man we're here with episodes 9 and 10 today you guys will get 11 and 12 on thursday okay you already know what the deal is anyways um i will be reacting to all four today but you guys will see it later but anyways we gonna jump in and see what they have to offer here man with iq i'm enjoying this series very much so um think i mean right now this is my second time watching a sports anime of course and you know we have much more to go a lot of people has been recommending stuff already so once i catch up with haikyuu um then we'll jump into another sports anime of course to replace <clears throat> haikyuu until it returns for whatever season five i think um hopefully we can catch up pretty soon i mean doing four episodes a week i think we're we're doing a good pace right now because i think I'm not sure. I don't think there's 20 something episodes in every season, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. So I don't want to assume anything. Maybe there is 20 something episode. I haven't checked. So I don't know. So in any case, man, we saw Tsukushima, you know, trying to level up, getting some training in. We got a little bit about his backstory, you know, and is, you know, it's sad and in some ways very inspiring. Because sometimes the people who you look up to is not who they are, you know? And a lot of times, yes, even though even though that person is not who they say they are, they've inspired you in some ways. And I, I think I don't think his brother meant him ill will. It's more of like if I keep this facade up, you know, it's gonna inspire him to be better. You get what I'm saying? And a lot of times you know, you keep a you keep a lie going a lot of times because it could be beneficial to somebody else. And the thing about it is this, right? If you find out you're you're following somebody who's who's been mentoring you for years, telling you this and that, maybe they're not living the life that they're inspiring you to go towards and but they're just inspired, they're telling you don't give up and all this other stuff. It's a good message but how do you how exactly do you feel when that person tell you or you find out that that person is not actually living that life? Do you feel let down? Was he telling you something wrong? And a lot of times when it comes on when it comes on to stuff like that, like if you find out that a that a guru has been lying to you, he hasn't been telling you anything that's wrong, to be honest. He's not. You get what I'm saying? He's not telling you anything that's wrong, like a, a, a mentor or, or something like that. Suppose a mentor um, that's not rich, quote unquote rich, inspires you to be rich. You get what I'm saying? Is he telling you something that's wrong? You know what I'm saying? But I know you probably, I would feel some type of way about it. But at the end of the day, when you actually think about it, was he inspiring you wrong? You get what I'm saying? Because you're, you, of course, you're going to look at it and be like, well, my mentor couldn't do it, but he was telling me I could. You get what I'm saying? That could just be because the person believed that you could do something that they couldn't do, which is which is kind of like what parents do. You get what I'm saying? Parents do inspire their kids to do stuff that they couldn't do in a lot of circumstances. You get what I'm saying? A lot of parents live vicariously through their kids. You get what I'm saying? So, um, in a way, in a way, it's still inspirational, but at the same time, it's still a lie. We got to call it what it is. But at the same time, you know, if you actually think about it in a calm and a different way, you realize that the person wasn't exactly telling you something that's wrong. It was just that maybe they maybe the you know the lie was their life the lie was their life their life was the lie 
but they were using truth to actually inspire you. It's a weird situation, I know. <laughs> but anyways, let's jump into the reactions and I will see you guys for the review. Shikushima, I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to bring to the table because he looks like he's inspired to do better. So let's see what he's going to do. I'll see you guys for the review. All right, so that was IQ episode 9 and 10, season 2, man. That was great. That was great, man. I think I talked for like five minutes straight during episode 9. But that's just, it comes with the territory, guys. I hope you guys are not too mad about that. Um, You know, you know, one of the things that I wanted to talk about was like, I see somebody like titling their video, and it doesn't make a difference because the person, like I've seen their they just started reacting. They started started season one as like a volleyball player watching Haikyuu. And they're getting thousands of views. And, you know, my videos are barely hitting, you know, 200, 300 views um, <clears throat> for Haikyuu. Over time, they do get up there, you know, in the higher hundreds, close to a thousand over time, you know. Um, and, and I'm not going to lie. I'm a little jealous. Um, I don't think I could pull that even if I name my videos that, you know what I'm saying? I don't think I could pull that. I think the main reason is because she's pretty. You get what I'm saying? Because she doesn't give the perspective that I'm given. Like she's just, she doesn't say anything about it. You get what I'm saying? Like she doesn't say anything about it, about volleyball. She doesn't stop and talk about her experience with volleyball. None of that stuff. I'm not going to name who it is. Okay, so it, just in case you're wondering if I'm going to name the person, I'm not going to name the person. Um, so that's what I'm saying. It's just like for me, it's just like my experience on YouTube is just going to be different. And it, it's just going to be so satisfying when I get to certain milestones and I, I'm prepared to let the tears flow. You know what I'm saying? Because I know it's going to be a long time and a long journey before I get to certain, you know, like a 10, 10,000, um, milestone, 50,000, a hundred thousand, and even the million, I think I'll get to the million one. I don't think I'm going to give up on YouTube before I hit <laughs> a million subscriber. I think, and that's one of my bigger goal, longer term goal is to hit a million subscribers, um, on YouTube. But at the same time, you know, and as I see that, you know, as I said, I'm a little jealous of it, but I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not sweating it too much. Um, just meant just mentioning it there because I saw it and I was like, because, you know, when you're reacting to stuff on YouTube, it's get it gets recommended on your channel. That's how the, the, the algorithm works, because if you're uploading videos about a certain things, they're going to recommend those videos to you. You get what I'm saying? Other people's reactions and stuff like that. Thank God I haven't seen anything spoiled, but I have been looking at other people's reaction of Haikyuu. Um, and it's pretty cool to see how certain people react to, you know, the show. You know what I mean? I've, I, you know, see people tear up for season one and stuff like that. And there were, there were plenty of moments in season one that had me, you know what I'm saying? Because it's such a feel good anime is such a feel good anime is such that feeling of being a part of something is just you know what i'm saying especially if you have a person who's alone don't have a lot of friends and stuff like that when you see stuff like that this it really touches your heart you know what i'm saying it really touches you in a, in, in a special place um and bring those emotions out because you really want to have you know, nobody really and truly wants to be alone. People may tell you they want to be alone and they want to be left alone, but only for a time. You know what I'm saying? So to have that kind of friendship around you, true friendship of we're trying to accomplish a goal together and we're all trying to support each other is what I love about this anime. And it just goes to show you that, yes, you have fallen out in teams on teams but at the end of the day you're all striving to get that same goal to get to that same goal you know what i'm saying you know i'm not saying that teams like people always love each other on teams that's not what i'm trying to say 
but you know at the end of the day most people are going to look over those differences and just move forward because we all want to make this money so when it comes on to this show and what they're trying to showcase all the cogs are coming together from all the stuff that they know and you know i talked a little bit um a lot actually about the move that Kageyama is trying to do is not something that is very easily accomplished. It takes a lot of practice. I don't think, I think it is humanly possible to do something like that. But at the same time, that's not something that you're going to just get up and do one day. It That's going to take a lot of practice. And to do that, I don't think when I was playing volleyball, I don't, as I said before, I don't know what volleyball is like now. Some of you guys have let me know that there's a lot of stuff that's in Haikyuu that you see done that people are doing in real life today. And I'm not going to say you're wrong, that's impossible or whatever, because as I said, sports evolve. People in sports evolve. Players evolve. You know, um, one time we weren't curving the ball in soccer. Now they're doing it at a ridiculous rate. The stuff that they're able to do, floating the ball from a free kick, like I've seen. I've seen people do do some ridiculous stuff in soccer these days that people wouldn't even attempt back in the day, but it is what it is. Um, so the sports evolved. People are doing way more stuff. People in, in basketball never used to break as much ankles as they are doing in, in, today. People, you never used to find people in basketball breaking ankles as much as they are doing to, um today in, in in basketball you know people have way better handles on on the basketball people at ridiculous kind of handles in the modern era of basketball so it's like you know who knows who would have been better you know what i'm saying who knows you don't know yeah you're not going to know so just leave it and let it be <laughs> you know what i mean um so in my humble opinion, I think this is heading in a very good decision. Are they going to win this set? I don't know. They probably will. Um, it would be a good good going away present for them, of course. Um, of course, I am going to go watch 11 and 12 right now. Um, but you guys won't see this until Thursday. So I will see you guys then. I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. Um, I love it. Leave a like, leave a comment. See what everybody reacts. I'm out.